Good morning. My name is Nigel and I'll be bringing you the devotional for this morning. Uh, I'll be reading from the passage, uh, John chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. I'll be reading it from the Passion Version of the Bible. It goes like this. Jesus and his disciples were all invited to the banquet, but with so many guests in attendance, they ran out of wine. And when Mary realized this, this is Mary, the mother of Jesus, she came to him and asked, They have no wine. Can't you do something about it? Jesus replied, My dear one, don't you understand that if I do this, it won't change anything for you, but it will change everything for me. My hour of unveiling, uh, the, the, my hour of unveiling my power has not yet come. Mary then went to the service and told them, Whatever Jesus tells you, make sure that you do it. Now there were six stone water pots standing nearby. They were meant to be used for the Jewish washing rituals. Each one held about 20 gallons of or more. Jesus came to the service and told them, fill the pots with water right up to the very brim. Then he said, now fill your pitchers and take them to the master of ceremonies. And when they poured out their pitcher for the master of ceremonies to sample, the water became wine. When he tasted the water that became wine, the master of ceremonies was so impressed, although he didn't know where the wine had come from, but the servers knew. He called the bridegroom over and said to him, Every host serves uh, the wine of poor quality, but you, my friend, you've reserved the most exquisite wine until now. This miracle in Cana was the first of the many extraordinary miracles Jesus performed in Galilee. This was a sign revealing his glory and his disciples believed in him. What's so fantastic about this story is the fact that uh, that, that really resonated with the fact that Jesus said no. Jesus never said never. If you want to put it that way, he never said never. And we need to take it, understand the fact that we may have come across different kind of stuff in our lives, in our journey in life. But no of resistance doesn't mean never. Maybe we need to take a different approach. Maybe we need to knock on a different door. Maybe we need to use a different key. But we should not close our mind uh, to what possibilities God can bring out of a no situation. One of the things we need to listen to is what Mary said to the servers. He said, whatever he says to you, whatever Jesus says to you, make sure you do it. That's why I, I like the, the brand, Nike's brand, which is uh, just do it. Because sometimes we're waiting and waiting as to, okay, what next, what next? Whatever next comes to you, make sure you just do it. Before you knock on another door, though, before you try a different approach, what is Jesus saying? Now, you'll notice the fact that uh, uh, Mary never said, okay, just wait for an hour, wait for two hours, then Jesus will come to you. This is where patience comes in. So you have to know, be patient, you know, because Jesus will surely come to you as long as you're ready. She said, be ready, because Jesus is going to do something special in this situation. Did you notice also that when the time was right, there were six water stones, you know, ready. Uh, there were uh, water available. There was the obedience service. And there was the timely instruction from the master. You see, the exciting thing about this is that everything we need is around us in the name of Jesus. You know, all we need to do is to listen to what instructions God is giving. I'll summarize this way. God can use what is naturally available to us and readily accessible by us to do the impossible. Are you the obedient servant that will do all that the master has instructed? Which includes filling the water pots to the brim, not halfway through to the brim. I mean, the fact that you can you should obey God in everything. Don't go halfway, go all the way. You know, and it is important to know the fact that, you know, uh, what are you willing to do? That's the big question. What are you willing to do? I want to encourage you not to give up, but to stand right. 
to see the salvation of the Lord. I want to encourage you that at the end of the ceremony in this story, nobody realized where the, the, the new one came from. But Jesus did, of course. Mary did. The servants did. I want to encourage you that when God does something for you, make sure you can give him all of the glory and all of the praise. God bless you.